What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that, but in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive. And of course, Paid to Drive Vlogs coming at you with another new video. I hope you're all doing great out there. So ladies and gentlemen, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you are in the right place to stay up to date with what is going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button down below. And, uh, you know, it just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So with that being said, let's jump into this. All right. So um, first and foremost, I got to give a shout out to Torsten, the rideshare professor. Uh, he made a video about this and uh, I just wanted to give him the credit. I will put the link in the description down below. If you do not see the link, just let me know and I'll put it there. Well, it officially happened, guys. This is not good. This is not good. This is why you guys are subscribed to this channel to hear all the news and updates of what's going on in the gig economy. Here we go. Uber drivers and Uber Eats are employees, not contractors, says Dutch Court. You see this? So everyone can see it's real. Now, before everyone clicks out of the video all angry and says, Oh, Pete, this is in Dutch court, not us. Guys, remember something. Once something starts somewhere, whether it's international or here domestically in the United States, eventually it's a snowball effect. It keeps happening and happening and happening. Maybe not right away, but this is not good. Okay, although it seems that a lot of people are in favor of this, which is very strange. So it says Uber drivers are employees, not contractors, and so entitled to great, greater workers' rights under local labor laws, a Dutch court ruled, handing a setback to the U.S. company's European business model. Don't click out just yet, guys. Keep listening. It was another court victory for unions fighting for better pay and benefits for those employed in the gig economy and followed a similar decision this year about Uber in Britain. Also not good. The Amsterdam District Court sided with the Federation of Dutch Trade Unions, FNV, which had argued that Uber's roughly 4,000 drivers in the capital are employees of a taxi company and should be granted benefits in line with the taxi sector. Now, yes, I get it. Uber drivers, Uber Eats drivers are like cab drivers in, ex in an extent. It's just that they don't work for a direct boss other than just Uber in general. And yes, it's done on an app, but I understand where they're coming from, why they're saying, well, they're just taxi drivers, so they should be treated, treated like employees, but they're not figuring for the fact that a lot of what attracted people to these jobs is the flexibility of not having a boss or manager being able to go online and offline as you please. They're not taking into those, th those things into consideration. Uber said it would appeal against the decision and has no plans to employ drivers in the Netherlands. We are disappointed with this decision because we know that the overwhelmingly majority of drivers wish to remain independent. Like I just said, said uh, Maritz Schoenfeld, Uber's general manager for Northern Europe. Drivers don't want to give up their freedom to choose if, when, and where to work, as I just said. The court found drivers who transport passengers via the Uber app are, co are covered by the collective labor agreement for taxi transportation. The legal relationship between Uber and these drivers meets all the characteristics of an employee contract, the ruling said. The FNV hailed the ruling. Um, due to the judge's ruling, the Uber driver's are now automatically employed by Uber, said Zakaria Bufangacha. That's how I'm pronouncing it. FNV's deputy chairman. As a result, they will receive more wages and more rights in the event of dismissal or illness, for example. Which is good, but it changes everything. Uber drivers are in some cases entitled to back pay, the court said. Which is good, but it still changes everything. The judges also ordered Uber to pay a fine of 50,000 euros or $58,940 uh, American for failing to implement the terms of the labor agreement for taxi drivers. 
In March, Uber said it would improve workers' rights, including the minimum wage, for all of its more than 70,000 British drivers after it lost a Supreme Court case in February. Uber recorded $600 million in first quarter charges to account for the UK benefits, highlighting the financial toll of wider changes to its contractor model. Unlike in some European countries in the United States, UK employment law offers a unique worker status, a legal definition that situates drivers between independent contractors with no benefits and full-fledged employees with extensive benefits. Uber has advocated for a similar in-between status in other countries, but said those initiatives would require changes to employment laws. Uber in February released a white paper that called on uh, European regulators to rec recognize the value of independent contracts in job creation as they consider new rules to protect gig economy workers. We believe a new approach is possible, one where having access to protections and benefits doesn't come at the cost of flexibility and of job creation, Uber CEO Dara said in a blog post at the time. The company is pushing for similar models in the United States and Canada, where it faces do dozens of lawsuits over the status of its drivers. Uber in May faced a legal setback when the U.S. Supreme Court rejected its bid to avoid a lawsuit over whether drivers are employees and not independent contractors. But the company and other gig economy companies scored a decisive win in California last year when a majority of the state's voters passed a company-sponsored ballot measure that cemented worker status as contractors, albeit with some benefits. Gig companies in, US, in some U.S. states are also trying to strike deals with labor unions. Oh boy. So there you have it, guys. There you have it. Not good. You know, it's like the government, you know, the, that makes these decisions are not gig workers themselves. So therefore, they're just like, they need these rights and all that stuff. And look, it would be great if we could have unions and benefits and this, that, and the other. But we, we don't. As independent contractors, we don't. And when we signed up for these these jobs and we signed up for these apps, we knew this going in, or at least you should know this going in. So with that being said, what do you guys think? Is this something that we have to worry about here in the United States or not? I'm going to say, yeah, it is something to be worried about. It is something to be concerned about. And if your eyes aren't open to this, I don't know what other way to open your eyes. You know, yes, this happened in the Netherlands. I understand that. Okay. However... However, things like this tend to snowball, okay? What happens somewhere else could eventually happen here, okay? It's still Uber. It's still Uber Eats related. Still gig economy, just in a different country, okay? So let me know what your thoughts are down below about this, guys. I'll keep you, I'll do my best to keep you guys updated. You know, that's what I'm here for. So let me know your thoughts on this. Of course, in the chat, in the comments, please share this video so we can get the word out there. And if you guys ever want to send me anything, send me an email at paytodrivestories at gmail.com. That's the best place to reach me. Or for a quicker response, you can always message me on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash pay to drive. That link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. And of course, um, anyone who signs up as a patron, I will give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. It's just my way of showing my gratitude. So I'm going to do that right now. When you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got the very generous Ari Rosenbaum, $100 Ultimate Driver. We've got the very generous Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havlin, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Best, Ginny Thomas, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. Huge shout outs to all of them. So if you guys want to sign up, link is in the description or the pin top comment down below. And of course, everybody, I hope you have all signed up on the free gas app called Get Upside. Links in the description down below or, in the, or well, actually, no, it's just in the bottom of the description. It's not in the pin top comment, just not yet. But yeah, sign up on that app. You could be saving money on your gas today. You download it for free using the link at the bottom of the description. Go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt 
with the get upside gas app and within 48 hours or so you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back which is pretty fantastic and if a friend or family member signs up using your uh, code you'll get paid every time they pump gas it's called get upside links in the description make sure to download it today so uh with that being said if you guys want one of our t-shirts here uh all your t-shirts hoodies and goodies go to paytodrivestore.com lots of different designs colors sizes you name it paytodrivestore.com everything's on sale every day for all your t-shirts hoodies and goodies links down below and if you made it to the end of this video i appreciate it leave a comment saying end 410 end 410 just lets me know you made it to the end and of course don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever i post something new and if you wouldn't mind hit that like button on your way out just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.